What would you do if you were driving down a lonely country road in the middle of the night? Pitch black, no street lights, it's a country road, and you see a man further up holding a lantern, walking down the road. What would you think? Well, this is what one of our viewers encountered. So let's have a look. Welcome back to the Brick a Brack shop. And this is the portal to the paranormal and the spiritual. And I'm Tom from the shop. So welcome back. And in this episode, we're talking about Lily's encounter with what she thinks is a ghostly experience or an apparition. I'll leave that up to you to decide. Now, don't forget, if you like this episode, click the like button, subscribe and click the bell and the notification sign so you'll be updated when I keep releasing these new videos. Now, Lily is one of our viewers and she's kindly written in with her experience. So, Lily was driving back from uh, the countryside in Essex in the UK back to London. There was five of them in the car. Now Lily wasn't driving, but they were coming back from Essex in the UK, driving back to London. Now it was in the middle of the night, uh, it was about 11.30 to be precise, and in, this was back in November in 2015, so quite a few years now, but something like this is timeless. So they drove through a small village, Sybil Henningham, and then they drove onto the Weathersfield Road. Now that takes them to uh, the, the M11 freeway, which takes them down to London. Now, while they were driving along, in fact, I think I'll read my notes here, actually. Um, well, this is what Lily has written. They notice a figure walking by the side of the road carrying a wooden lantern. He was wearing what they thought was fancy dress. The attire was certainly not of the modern era. The figure looked as if it was self-luminous. My friend who was driving had to slow down her vehicle to manoeuvre around the figure. This is where we all managed to get a better look at the figure. He was a man in his 60s. He was wearing a coiffed cap covered by a hood and a tunic tied in the middle by what looked like a hemp sash or a piece of rope. The tunic went down to his knees. He had stockings or leggings of some kind and pointed ended shoes. The figure did not seem to notice us and continued to walk with his eyes to the ground. He seemed to be shuffling along. Although all of us were surprised to see such a figure walking in the road in the darkness, dressed in the manner that he was, we did not really take much more about it until we were back in our hotel room. Then we thought, why would someone be out at that time of night on their own, dressed in such an odd way? The road the figure was walking on was unpaved, meaning that he was walking literally on the road, with a risk of being hit by a passing vehicle. He was not wearing any kind of reflective illuminated vest, like what cyclists would wear. The only light he had was from his lantern. And that's what um, Lily has shared with us. Now she's also sent us some uh, pictures of the area courtesy of Google Maps and um, here they are. As you can see this is during the daytime but of course this would have been at night being 11.30 at night in pitch darkness as there's no street lights as you can see. Now 
the arrow marks the area where the man was sighted. Now if we go to the Google map of the overview of um, Sybil Henningham, we can see it's, it's a small village and there's a, a few houses nearby. So was he actually a man that was just walking home after visiting friends or family maybe? And uh, we don't know about the lantern. Why wasn't he carrying a torch? Maybe his lantern was uh, something he was used to, especially if he was in his 60s. Now, was this an apparition or was it a man? Maybe a time slip, like they were passing something that just was from another time coming in as well. Now, if you do look at the overhead Google map, it is close to a graveyard, a church graveyard, just around the corner from the road. And this is a picture of what Lily actually has drawn of their impression of what the man looked like. What do you think? He is wearing leggings, but a few years ago, um, it was popular for a lot of people to wear tight jeans, skinny jeans, so to speak, which didn't make them look like they were wearing leggings. But then again, he was supposed to be about a 60 year old. So uh, normally 60 year olds don't usually wear tight jeans, but uh, who knows? So what do you think? Was it an apparition or was it just a local man walking home late at night? Write your comments below and let me know and let me know what you think. Now, if you've liked this episode, click the like button, share it and tell your friends. And if it's your first time, welcome and subscribe and press the bell icon and click the notification. So you'll be updated when I do release new videos. So um, and don't forget, we are now affiliated with the UK's number one spiritual store, the Psychic Tree. And there is a link down below. Click on it for all your spiritual products like smudges to protect yourself and uh, crystals and candles and incense and other spiritual products, even books. And also, if you'd like to uh, have a look at our uh, chakra energizing t-shirts to realign your body with your chakras, click on that link as well. So thanks for joining us. And uh, until next time, stay well and happy.